Hi, I wanted to share with you this loaded envelope that I made for Valentine's Day. And I took a little bit of a spin on the traditional envelope or bag idea. And I did a heart. I used my silhouette portrait to cut out this um, kind of woven shaped heart here. And then the same size on the back in a textured light brown color. And then I use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher with some pink staples just part way up here to hold it together and make kind of an opening. So let's pull it apart and I'll show you everything that I put in it. The inspiration for this was a calico collage um, vintage love digital collage um, for journal making. And it had beautiful papers and beautiful ephemera and pockets and all sorts of Valentine's gorgeousness. And I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could use the images and the papers in other ways. So if you are not a junk journal artist, you could still use those papers, not for maybe their intended purpose, but for something else as well. So I'll show you what I made here. All right, the first thing that I did is I took a pink paper mate ink joy pen and I kind of added some texture. I made it look like stitches or basket weaving here on the front. And then on the front are two rose paper clips that I made, um, a file from the Silhouette Design Store. And uh, it has two parts. It has the background and then the delicate cut out front, which I put on with some clear glue and hot glued onto a jumbo paper clip. These paper clips I just got in a pack of, I think, 80 at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And um, these are the two different varieties that I made. I made them into jumbo paper clips, and then I just attached them here on the weaving. I also made this giant paper clip, which I made um, from, if I can get it unstuck, it's stuck on something here. Oh, there we go. Um, I made from a piece of, a square piece of wood that I got at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby had, you know, a whole bag of these square ish pieces of wood and I just stamped some vintage lace um, corners on it in black and then just did the edges in black and I hot glued a giant paper clip on it. And so those are the three big uh, clips that I put on the front. So here's what it looks like without the clips. Here is one of the journal pages from the collection. Oh, and it's some beautiful music. It says a rose from you. Look at how beautiful that is. And I just rolled it up and I tied the ribbon on it. I'm going to write the letter to my pen pal on the back of it. And then, you know, roll it up, tie it. Okay, so that's how it I added. That was a journal page and I did that. This was, there were a whole bunch of these page flags and I love making little paper clips from them. So I made her this paper clip from that. All I did was hot glue the edge over on a little silver paper clip. So that's for her. Okay, this here, Red Rose is True Love. Roses speak love the whole world through. That's why I say, send roses red to you. This little um, card was part of the collection. And then I just glued on a scalloped, half scalloped circle and some page flags, glimmer mist. I just glued them on the back like that. So you can glue it to a card, put it in your journal, planner, whatever. Okay, these tickets here, these were also in the collection, these beautiful tickets. And what I did is I took the back of a cereal box, glued it onto that, and then put a little bit of red ink, uh, stamp pad ink, and some glimmer mist on the back. And then all I did was just, you know, fold it up and shove it in there. Okay, some Valentine's tickets. I added some stickers, some wooden heart beads. This paper was not um, from the collection here, but this tab was. There were a whole bunch of tabs. I think there were at least four tabs um, as a part of the collection. And so I just attached it on the side with my Tim Holtz um, Tiny Attacher, put some adhesive rhinestones on it and I cut this out with my silhouette this was just some paper from my stash 
Um, I just cut this out with my silhouette. It's a rose card. So you could write on it or, you know, put it as a little divider in your planner. Okay, this here, this image was part of the collection. And I glued it onto some textured white cardstock, inked the edges, added a little watercolor chipboard banner that I made and some punches, and then glimmer misted the whole thing. Okay, and that is, whoops. Oh, I made this envelope. This is the last one. I made this envelope with my Martha Stewart, Stewart scoreboard, and it also has some um, an envelope option. And then this is just a whole bunch of ephemera and punches. I took some of the papers that were part of the collection, and instead of using it as a journal, I just punched out um, different ones like that. And I just put them in here so she can use it in her pocket letters or flip books or whatever she wants to. And some other just plain paper and some pieces of ephemera that I made. And so that's just a goodie envelope there. So here I'll let you see how much room that expands to you. And it holds really securely because this is really heavyweight cardstock. And then you can stuff all of everything back in it. So on and so forth. 